Hey guys, how everyone's doing? Pat here from Card Collector HQ and welcome back to my channel. Last week, Wednesday, it was the Seattle Kraken expansion draft and then later on the entry draft during the weekend, so lots of action in the NHL. So today we're going to take a look at the Kraken roster and see what players might see their card go up in value as a result of getting picked by this new team. Let's get to it. So as of July 26, this is the Seattle Kraken roster. So mostly players drafted in the expansion draft because, uh, well, Ron Francis, known as a rather conservative GM, did not make a lot of trade, did not really acquire any one else from uh, the draft it was an interesting draft no doubt uh, this this is not the topic of the video so i'm not going to go too uh, too deep into my, my analysis here but clearly uh, the guy valued a lot the uh, cap space so he passed on quite some stars in uh, for example carry price or vladimir tarasenko uh, van Riemsdyk in philadelphia a bunch of players that were exposed but uh, Francis did not select them, uh, probably because of their big contracts. So what we're left with is a lot of, of cap space that eventually will turn into something, I hope for them, and a lot of, I'd say, second grade players. So there's not a lot of star power in this lineup. The good news, though, is uh, probably that can open up some doors for players that uh, couldn't uh, make an impact on their previous teams and that's really the target of today's video so I analyzed this roster and based on my own opinion and my personal knowledge of the NHL and the different players that were involved in there I'm going to give you my top five guys that I could see their cards go up in value during the next year and after that it's a it's a bit tough to predict of course so take it for what it is just my own opinion um, but hopefully this will give you some uh, some food for thought uh, for your own investing strategy so i focused a lot on the forwards um, if you've been to my channel before uh, about card value and hockey players you know, the defenseman doesn't get a lot of uh, respect in the hobby, I'd say. And anyways, uh, there's not a lot of flashy defensemen that were picked by uh, the Kraken. So there's Gior Giordano, that probably the best one and possibly their future captain. Uh, but aside from that, uh, a lot of good mix of young and older guy, but a lot of big shutdown defensemen, not really the kind of cars that sell too well. So... Um, let's go with my first pick and maybe it's an obvious one, but I have to go with him anyway. Jordan Eberle, it's probably the best known player apart from Giordano, maybe world junior hero in Canada. Um, he had some really good seasons in Edmonton. You know, we can see here 67 points, 65, 63. It's been a bit downhill from there, but you know, he was on a really good team with the Islanders. Um, is only 31, so past the 30 mark, but still, you know, it's, he's probably the first line right winger of this new team. That's really a good chance for him to rejuvenate his career. I think we could probably, you know, it's not a reach to see him get 50 points or something like that but i think the value really lies in the name value here uh, going into the season he's probably going to be the best known player of the kraken so just for that i think he's worthy of mention in this video my second target would be the goaltender chris dreger so chris dreger did not have a lot of chance in his career to make an impact up until recently with the Florida Panthers. Um, he played with Ottawa a little bit, but as you can see, only one game per season. And it's a really, really small sample. You know, as you can see, 12 game uh, with the Panthers and then 23 games. Pretty good, pretty good stats as the backup over there. He was signed for three years, 3.5 million. 
Uh, he's been picked along with Vanacek and uh, Joey Decard. So unless there's going to be some trade in the offseason, he was one of the first signing, one of the first player to to be leaked going into the the roster. So it really looks like they want to make him their starter. Some people fear that it might be another Scott Darling, if you remember him. It was a really good backup with the Blackhawks and then was traded and signed to a bigger contract in Carolina and that did not work that well. Um, there's definitely a risk that it's going to happen, but you know, there's some upside there, of course. And, um, you know, goalie cards are usually popular. There's a lot of fans. Um, that like to collect goalie cards. So Chris Dreger already went up in value during the season with his really good season with Florida. Really someone to keep an eye on. All right, next up. Next up may be a bit of a reach, uh, you'd say Morgan Geeky, but I added him um, rather for the long term. He's one of the younger player that were drafted and you know he's ha he has some upside definitely. Um, only 23. Uh, one could make an argument about Cole Lind, who was also drafted at 20 or 22 years old. But Lind uh, only played seven games, and he was it was after the rookie cutoff, so doesn't have a rookie card yet. Doesn't have his young gun, so it should be in next year's uh, upper deck series one, most likely. Um, but anyways, back to Geeky. Geeky um, saw his young gun young gun card. Um, last season as you can see he's a player that can score in the minor he made a big splash in uh, 2019 when he joined the uh, Carolina Hurricanes with four points in two game in two games only uh, last season was a bit more difficult but he's a player that was uh, that is known by the GM Ron Francis in Carolina I think he'll has he'll have his chance at some point the the Kraken are rather thin down the middle at center position. He's the center, so probably not this season, probably not short term, but I can see him having an impact along the years. Next up, Jared McCann. So Jared McCann is an interesting player. Played with Vancouver, played with uh, Florida, and the last two years with the Pittsburgh Penguins. And as you can see, he did uh, improve over the years. Uh, 35 two years ago, 35 points in 66 game and 32. So that's close, but in only 43 games. So you can see he's definitely up on the rise. Um, only 25 years old. Didn't seem to really click with anyone in Pittsburgh. Although, you know, there's Malkin uh, that he played with. There's Crosby over there, of course. So couldn't make his mark at the center. Um, I believe he's going to play on the wing. I could really see him being the first line left winger, uh, maybe with uh, with Eberle and uh, Gord. Uh, that could really be something for him. Definitely in the top six, in my opinion. Um, so I think he's one of the guy that could really improve, and that's what you want to target. Um, it's a it's a low risk high reward i'm gonna say guys like mccann you know their young guns are probably around ten dollars or less raw and there's not going to be a lot of graded cards for these kinds of players you know not stars players not really uh blue chip prospects in their time so uh and there's there's a lot of those uh it was the same year as McDavid, so there's a lot of his young guns uh, going around and uh, not really valuable right now. But if he could really, if he can explode and then get something going with the Kraken, you know what we what we're looking for is the kind of guys like Jonathan Marchesso uh, with Vegas or William Carlson. You know these guys that were known, but just a little bit, and then really given the opportunity with the new expansion team really exploded and got a lot more ice time a lot more opportunity and then of course a lot more goals and points face value 
um, face recognition in the hobby also. So I think Jared McCann is a really interesting candidate for next year's and uh, of course the following years if he can rise up his game. And my uh, last guy and my favorite, I'd say, is the pick from Winnipeg and it's Mason Appleton. Another youngish guy, not the youngest, but you know, 25, a lot of room to grow still. Um, I don't think we've seen his ceiling uh, yet in the NHL, but he was um, really close to some getting something uh, last season. If you look at his stat line, uh, clearly uh, the guy can score. Uh, you see in the AHL, 66 point and then 32. Had a bit of a chance with the Winnipeg, but you know, strong team. He was a bit buried in the third and fourth line. And last season was able to put up 25 points. And he's listed as a center, but most he's never really played center in the NHL level. So most, lo most likely a right winger. Um, He's going to be in the middle six, I believe, from start. But then there's Eberle, there's Kelly Yankrock also that he has to fight for uh, to get some minutes in the top six. But it's really one of my best breakthrough candidates for the Kraken at this point right now. Uh, given the roster that they currently have, um, I believe that Appleton is really a guy that is just waiting to get his chance at the NHL level. And I've been buying a few of his young gun. Um, his young gun was also uh, not part of the regular series one and two, but rather in the update version uh, from SP Authentic. So a bit more rare. You know, there's a lot less of these young guns going around, but still it's going to be in the $10, $15 mark when it's raw. Um, I think, you know, it's a low risk Potentially big reward. Uh, could he be the next Carlson or the next March or so? We'll see. I think out of this current roster is the guy that has the most chance. But, uh, well, anyway, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So going back at the roster, those will be my best pick. Um, if you look at the other players, you know, there's Gord that has a good chance of uh, making an impact with the team. But uh, I'm not sure if he's the kind of star player that can really break through. Um, then you've got Dunscore. Tanef will be a fan favorite, but uh, probably uh, I'm not expecting a big uh, bump in the card value because he's more of a bottom six player and a guy that uh, hits hard and plays hard, but that does not necessarily score a lot of goals and have a lot of uh, impact in the hobby, I believe. Jan Krak could be a good candidate too, um, but we'll see. Then all the defensemen, I talked about them earlier. Uh, there's room for Vitek Vanacek. His young gun is already quite popular from last season. We'll see how it goes with Dreger. So anyways, those are my opinion, what I believe could be good targets. And as I said, these are None of these guys are really star player right now. They could become, but anyways, all their cards are rather low price at the moment. So it's really a low risk to grab a few here and there and see how it goes. And if these guys doesn't really pan out, then you're not out hundreds of or thousands of dollars, of course. So that's it for my Kraken video. I'm really uh, looking forward to see this uh, team on the ice and see what Francis has in store for the rest of the off season. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below who are your potential breakthrough candidate for this new expansion team. If you like this content, consider subscribing to my channel. Helps me a lot or like this video. And on that, I'm gonna wish you an excellent day and see you next time. Goodbye.